Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be discussing another story that's just, it makes you want to sigh, especially because I think that cases that involve children, if you know what I mean, are always devastating, but I think it's even more devastating when you see that there's an act of pattern by the same person to consistently act in a depraved way. So we're going to talk about that today. Prepare yourselves. CNN producer John Griffin arrested for attempting to persuade minors to engage in unlawful sexual activity. Connecticut man John Griffin was arrested Friday and charged with three counts of using a facility of interstate commerce to attempt to entice minors to engage in unlawful sexual activity. Okay, so the thing is, when I started reading this article, when you see engage in unlawful sexual activity, you already know it's going to be terrible. But when I read more about the details of what exactly John Griffin was doing, it becomes so much grimmer, so much creepier, and so much more methodical that it also makes you question, how much do we not know? Which is, I think, the question we all have lingering in our heads when we have cases like these, where we're like, okay, they got caught for a couple of kids, but how many might just be out there without us knowing. Griffin44 has been a producer with CNN for about eight years. Needless to say, he's been suspended as the investigation is pending. I can't really see a way in which he would be found innocent, and that's because, like I said, there's a pattern, and I'll show you that pattern. So the charges stem from conversations between Griffin and the purported parents of minor daughters in which he allegedly tried to persuade them to allow him to train their daughters to be sexually submissive, as well as an incident in which prosecutors allege unlawful sexual activity occurred with a nine-year-old girl, the news release said. The fact that there was the audacity, the, the sheer audacity of being so open with your attraction towards children, with your pedophilia, really, that you feel comfortable enough to go to the children's parents and are like, hey, what about this? That blows my fucking mind because if I had been the parent of any of those children, not only would I have reported them immediately, but I would tell him to start running real fast because shit would be coming his way. I've said it before, I'm not in favor of violence, but there is no way you can come up to a decent-minded parent and ask them for their child to be taught to be sexually submissive and for the decent-minded parent to not want to like murder you on the spot. That just blows my mind. According to an indictment filed on Thursday, Griffin allegedly paid and kept an online profile on a BDSM dating fetish and kink site for several years leading up to July 2020, on which he allegedly wrote he was looking for women who were sexually submissive and open-minded. Now this point I take issue with because I feel like BDSM and fetishes and kinks are often dragged into these situations and there is not a link between BDSM and pedophilia. I don't think that has anything to do with this, so I don't really know why BDSM kinks and fetishes are being brought up unless they, they were a direct connection with the child. The only way in which this connects is that Clearly, he's into submission. Around February 2020, Griffin allegedly acquired a Vermont ski house in which he offered to host mothers and their minor daughters for sexual training purposes, according to the indictment. So the extra layer of grim here is that this ski house sounds like a hub. Now, granted, he might use the ski house for dinner parties as well, but I genuinely think that the ski house was bought with that exact purpose of being maybe in a slightly more remote area, who the hell knows, and for him to bring the mother's parents along with the child victims in order to train them. It just gives dungeon vibes, right? Between April and June 2020, prosecutors allege Griffin talked online with the purported father of a 14-year-old girl and separately the mother of a 16-year-old girl, proposing they begin sexual training. So this is exactly why I was saying that it's grim. Like, this isn't even the full timeline yet, and there's more. I'll link the article down below because there's a lot, a lot, a lot. But there's this consistent pattern of looking for parents who are okay with their children 
being essentially groomed and then assaulted because the grooming, the purpose of this grooming here in this particular situation would be to teach them how to be submissive. And then I'm assuming he would want to use this groomed submission for his own sexual pleasure. I just need to pause a second because... It's just so methodical that it's hard to believe that he's just now being caught and there hasn't been myriad more of other things that he's tried to do. In June and July, Griffin also allegedly talked online and on the phone with someone who claimed to be the mother of two girls, nine and 13. See, this is a consistent pattern of looking for the same thing over and over again. Griffin allegedly paid more than $3,000 to the woman to fly her nine-year-old girl to Boston in July, where prosecutors say he picked them up from the airport and brought them to the infamous ski house, where the child was directed to engage in and did engage in illegal sexual activity. I would like to have a couple words with the mother of this nine-year-old child because the fact that the child did engage in illegal sexual activity, which, you know, let's just call it what it is. It would be rape, assault, depending on what happened. It's not just illegal sexual activity. It's like she was raped. She might have even been groomed with the submissive thing because we don't know how long she was there. And the thing is, as much as I'd want to give the benefit of the doubt of like, oh, the parent didn't know, you know, because there are tragic situations where the parents only find out later that someone who's been around their children has been taking advantage of them. But here, they specifically went for that reason. And that's the thing that pisses me off the most because it's no coincidence. There's no benefit of the doubt that can be given here towards the mother because the whole premise of being flown out by this random person plus being given money was to basically traumatize her nine-year-old daughter. What do you do with that kind of information? Now, like I said, I'll link the article down below. I did skip some pieces that were repetitive. I mean, hopefully the majority of the parents he did talk to were like, no, this is fucked up, leave us alone. But the fact that one said yes in exchange for money, basically, to me says there's gonna be other fucked up parents. It's inevitable. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think this has been going on for a really long time, like beyond the multiple times we already heard of in just one single article? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.